So in this video, I want to show you how to compute the eigenvalues of a 2x2 two two matrix, specifically this matrix that I have right here. Um, it's a 2x2 two two matrix, and I won't go into the theory as to why we do it this way, but um, you know, if you, uh, if you take some of our paid courses or you can go online, you can look at it as well. Um, there is a reason why we do it this way. But first and foremost, let's start off by saying this. Um, we, when we solve for eigenvalues and eigenvectors, we're solving this equation where we're trying to figure out um, the v's right here, these represent our eigenvectors, and the, the lambda here is our eigenvalue. And so we're trying to find the eigenvectors, uh, these vectors such that if we take a and we multiply it by v, we are just going to scale it up or scale it you know, down by a particular value lambda. And so if I multiply a by v, I may take v, right, and I may scale it up, you know, by 2, so it's 2v. In that case, um, the, the, um, the eigenvalue is just going to be 2. And so that's essentially what we're solving for here. When we solve for eigenvalues, we're solving for lambda right here. And how we do that is, I'm not going to go into why, but how we do that is we solve for the determinant of this matrix right here. So this right here, um, this I, is the identity matrix, and it's just a matrix of ones along the diagonal. And so I'm gonna hop right into it. Um, what we're gonna do is we're first gonna try to, you know, we're gonna take the determinant of everything inside here, which is just gonna be lambda times I, the identity matrix with ones along the diagonal, minus A, which is two, three, one, four. Okay, and we want this to be equal to zero. We are going to distribute through lambda. And then we're going to subtract off A. We can do that a little bit neater. Okay, and then this is going to give me uh, this matrix right here. Awesome, and now we can take the determinant of this. And so what we can do is, so I'm gonna scroll down. When we take the determinant, we're just multiplying the right going diagonal right here and then subtracting off the multiplication of that diagonal as well. And that's gonna leave us with this, lambda minus four, and then subtracting off negative one times negative three is just positive three. And we can use our good friend FOIL. You remember FOIL, first outer, inner, last. That's going to be lambda squared minus negative uh, 2 lambda minus 4 lambda is going to be negative 6 lambda uh, plus um, 8 minus 3 is going to be 0. And so simplifying this down, we're going to have plus 5 is equal to 0. And this is called our characteristic equation. You'll hear that a lot. And so what we want to do is we want to figure out what are two numbers that when multiplied give you 5, but when added up give you negative 6. And that is uh, negative 5 and negative 1. And that's what's going to solve this. It's lambda minus 5 and then lambda minus 1. And if we solve this, we can see that we have lambda is equal to, these are the solutions to our characteristic equation. And these right here are our eigenvalues. And so that's how you solve for the eigenvalues. Please feel free to go back through that to catch the steps uh, more closely. But what we essentially did is, you know, we noted that this right here is the equation we're trying to solve for both the eigenvalue and the eigenvectors. The eigenvalue is just the, the, the scalar for when A is multiplied by V. And then the determinant here is, we're going to take the determinant of this inner matrix right here and what we do is we, we set everything up, we know what the identity matrix is, we know what that is now. We, take the we finally get this, we take the determinant of this, it winds up giving us this characteristic equation, and we solve for the lambdas for this uh, uh, binomial equation or the characteristic equation, and then we come out with 1 and 5, which, our, which are our eigenvalues. Now, in the next video, I'm going to show you how to calculate the eigenvectors of this matrix.